Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be showing you how I make my shrink plastic badges of animals and I'm going to be showing you how I use resin to finish them off and if you were expecting my special video this week I'm sorry to disappoint you but I got the date wrong it wasn't this week that we we're releasing the special video it's next week so stay tuned for the 14th of March where I'll be releasing a really special collab and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that and I am sorry that I got the date wrong and this isn't the special video but I have been working really hard on it I did still take that week off YouTube just to prepare properly and to get a really good video made and that is almost finished now so hopefully you will enjoy that and it will be worth the weight. So back to the artwork. I am making three badges today. I am making a dog, the one that I'm doing at the moment. I am um, colouring in Lana. She is my mum's dog and I made a badge for my mum for her birthday. So this is Lana. She is really super cute and adorable. I am using just the clear shrink plastic which I sanded down with some sandpaper because I'm using colour pencils so the colour pencils would grip to the shrink plastic and I'm just using my ordinary WH Smith pencils for this. I'm doing it lighter because shrink plastic does darken when you put it in the oven and you have to bear this in mind when you're doing shrink plastic you have to bear in mind that it does get darker and more pigmented when you put it in the oven. So now I am doing an owl. I'm doing an owl for my friend's birthday. It's her birthday, someone I work with her birthday this week so I made her an owl badge and I'm doing a barn owl so I thought that would be quite cute. And yeah, I am using black as well because the black is really pigmented in these pencils and the blue isn't very pigmented so I am using black. I know I don't normally do that. Those of you who watch my channel quite a while will know that I don't like to use black but I do for my shrink plastic, especially for the eyes, mainly for the eyes and the noses. I don't use it really to shade although I did a little bit with Lana. So I am just um, colouring in the owl at the moment and I am doing them about a six size. I'm doing four, well three, three on the A4 but I could probably fit four onto the A4 sheet of shrink plastic and it does shrink quite a little bit. I don't know actually the ratio of the shrinkage but it does shrink and it does get thicker so you don't have to worry too much about the neatness of the colouring although it is good to be neat. It is a very forgiving, shrink plastic is quite forgiving and I'm also using my Tombow Mono eraser to erase the highlights and to lift off some of the pencil to redo it and I do really like this Tombow Mono eraser, it does work really well on the shrink plastic. I didn't really like it so much when I'm drawing on paper but I found that it was really quite useful for this. So at the moment it doesn't look like there is a lot of contrast in these pictures, especially in the owl and um, when I move on to doing the cat in a moment it was a particularly difficult to get the contrast in because you can't really layer too much on shrink plastic and that is the problem partly to do with the pencils I'm using they're just ordinary pencils from WH Smith so they're not the most pigmented and yeah it's just because I don't probably don't sand it quite enough maybe if I sanded it a little bit more I wouldn't have this problem or maybe I'm burnishing a little bit too quickly I don't know but it's quite difficult to layer but like I said it does get darker so you will see you will see the contrast and the differences in tone much more when it's baked and that again is particularly true for Leo and I am now doing Leo, Leo the cat in the corner here and he belongs to So Craftastic. I am just in love with her videos, I have been for a while and her cat Leo is just so cute. I love making fan art of people's cats so I thought I would make her a little Leo badge and yeah he was quite difficult to do because he's got quite a lot of orange tones and a lot of the orange tones are quite similar in the pencils I have so it did take me a while to get the orange tones and the brown tones in his fur and to get the texture right and it does look so much better when it's baked. I was a little bit worried before I put it in the oven I was worried that it wouldn't bake properly and it wouldn't the colours would just kind of merge together but it worked out when he was baked so it doesn't quite look right at the moment it's going through a little bit of an awkward teenage phase but when it's baked it does look so much better and yeah he's such a cute cat and I just decided to um, include the fluff under his chin because he is a very fluffy cat I didn't just want to do the face because it wouldn't look like Leo if he didn't have the fluff and I will leave a link to um, Sarah or So Craftastic's channel down below because she makes some really cool crafty arty videos and you've got to go and check out Leo because he is just super cute. 
So if you are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Katie, I make art videos, I do challenges, speed paint, some crafty videos like this one, a few other tutorials I have done, so I will leave a link to some other tutorials for crafts if you're interested in that down below and up above. And if you are new, do feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos because sometimes YouTube doesn't put it in your subscription boxes because, you know, algorithm. So yeah, and also if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out. And also comment down below if you enjoy making shrink plastic charms or badges or jewellery as well because I am a little bit obsessed with shrink plastic and I love it so I love to hear what you make with shrink plastic too. So once I had finished all of the animals on this piece of shrink plastic and I was happy with them, I decided to, well I didn't decide to cut them out, I did cut them out because you have to cut them out. I cut them out and I didn't film this because I'm not very good at cutting out in general and especially with shrink plastic it is quite tricky to cut out. So I didn't want to have the pressure of the camera filming cutting out because I didn't want to chop off Leo or Lana's ears or cut through the owl by accident just because I was nervous so I did that off camera but once I had cut out all the designs and I had refined the cutting out to make them look as good as possible I turned each charm over and sanded down the back and I used the little cricket bat thing to do the sanding and that is what I got from Illustrator when we did our collab and I finally worked out what it is it's not a cricket bat for Charlie it is a sandpaper thing that you use to sand so I found that really useful and I coloured in the back of the um I coloured in the back of the charms in white and then once I had once I had cut them out I put them in the oven and they shrunk and here is what they look like shrunk and yeah you can see they have got darker and more pigmented and you can see that the contrast has very much improved. So once I had baked them I added some more highlights with my white gel pen and I can see that this looks quite harsh and you might be thinking this looks a little bit harsh but once the resin is put on it does dissolve some of the harshness so it doesn't matter too much you do need to do a few of harsh highlights because the resin will dissolve it and I'm also using some glitter nail varnish to add some a bit of variation and a little bit of sparkle to the charms and I'm using some gold glitter nail varnish on Lana here and I also add some gold glitter nail varnish to Leo and to the owl just to bring out a little bit of sparkle. So once I was happy with the finishing touches that I added to the badges, I finished it with some resin and I'm using some UV resin which means it's fast curing and it dries and cures in sunlight or under ultraviolet light and I actually got this from wish.com and I was quite surprised at how well it works and it was the only place I could actually find any UV resin and it was pretty decent price and yeah I really like finishing off my shrink plastic with resin because it just gives it a nice professional look the colors pop and it's nice and shiny and it gives it a very dome like finish as well as protecting the design quite nicely so yeah it is quite fiddly and I did get a couple of bubbles in a couple of them so I did have to give it two coats so once I had added resin to all of the designs I left them in on the windowsill in my flat for a day and you don't have to leave it this long but just because I wanted to make sure it was properly dry and because I used two coats and I have ordered a UV nail varnish dryer thing I don't really know what it's called but you know what I mean where you put your nails under for a few seconds under a UV purple light because I feel that will cure it better but for now sunlight is good and once I had left them to dry I added some a gold nail varnish to the back and then I fixed some badge fixings with my hot glue gun which is out of frame but I, my hand should come back into frame any second now to add the badge on and so that is the badge fixing on the back of all the badges and obviously I removed the stringiness so here are the final badges and I'm really pleased with how these turned out especially Lana and um Leo actually I like the owl too I like how all of these turned out and yeah so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday for the special video bye for now